I'm getting ready to cut up these cherry boards here that I got to make a custom cherry tabletop for our J Feather 24T. I'm going to get rid of the uh, that cheap plastic laminate top or whatever they use and put in a solid cherry top, change the size a little bit, make it a little bit bigger and um, stain it to match the cherry veneer that's in the trailer now. So this will be interesting. The new table is going to end up around 30 inches wide and 40 inches long. It's going to take seven of these boards. So I'm gluing them up in twos. This will be the next batch. I only have enough clamps for two sections. So when those dry in an hour, I can unclamp, glue up this one, and then glue this single board one of these sets here that are glued up already. So I'll end up with three units and those three will get glued together to net out about a 32 inch wide solid cherry tabletop. It's going to look awesome. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven boards glued up in two sections. Four here three here and as soon as those dry I will glue up those two pieces to give me a width of uh, just over 30 inches exactly what I need it'll end up about 40 inches long and 30 inches wide beautiful solid cherry table I finished clamping all seven boards into one slab. After letting it dry overnight, I unclamped it and cut it down to size and radius the appropriate corners and got it sanded down to a nice smooth finish. I'm going to use, I think, a Danish oil finish on it. It's easier to maintain. Don't have to worry about scratches so much. So the top is about 30 and a half inches wide, 40 inches long. I put a heavy radius on that corner there. You'll see why once I install it. It's sanded to 100 grit. And I think I'm going to take it down to about 150. We are at Fort Pickens Campground. Pensacola Beach, Florida. There's Tara chilling in the shade. She just spent the morning at the beach. I got the new tabletop installed for our trip here and it's working out real well. I got a, some Minwax stain I don't remember what it was, maybe early American, but uh, you can see it, it's a pretty good match. The table will eventually get a little darker, but uh, I ended up using uh, semi-gloss polyurethane. I was originally going to use a Danish oil, but I had some of this semi-gloss poly and uh, decided to use that instead. You can see underneath there's a, some plumbing I had to reroute. I'm going to make a box to cover that. And then this will all get painted underneath. Really pleased with how it turned out. Some storage back down in there. Camera equipment. Miscellaneous. There's a box holding up this end of the top. That's where Gail keeps her computer. So we sit there and have our dinner. I can also work at my computer. Came out real nice. Very pleased. On to the next project.